We've made our way up a bumpy road to the temple on the south side of Lhasa, close to the Lhasa River, three kilometers from Lhasa itself. And of course, Lhasa is the de facto capital of Tibet, a region inside China that has been mired in controversy with the communist Chinese government for a strong Buddhist belief. But we've come here to see an enchanting and beautiful temple, the Jokong Temple. For Buddhists, this temple is the center of the world. Every day, thousands of Buddhist monks and believers come here. The golden roofs of these buildings reflect Tibetan architecture influenced by Han customs, which shows that in the 7th century, when this temple was built, Han, Tibetan, and Indian styles were blended in Buddhist architecture. But of course, we have to remember why we're here. Right. Shokong Temple contains the statue of a 12-year-old Buddha Shakyamuni, which Princess Wencheng Gongzhu brought to Tibet as dowry for Tibetan Emperor Songsen Gampo in 641. They call the statue Joa Rinpoche. This version of the Buddha Shakyamuni is considered the most sacred version in Tibet, hence the name Riponash, or the Precious One. It is considered such because it is believed to be carved by the celestial architect Vishwakarma in India during the lifetime of the Buddha. This statue was most likely brought over in the 7th century CE. This piece is a massive, larger-than-life representation of the historical Buddha. It is made from gilt metal and semi-precious stones, and is seated on a gold bejeweled throne. He wears the rope of a monk, signifying his holiness. We see him seated in a lotus pose, which is the cross-legged position where the feet rest on the thighs, with his right hand in a gesture that calls the earth to witness. And in the left hand, we see the mudra known for meditation called the Dahana Mudra. All of this represents when the Buddha has reached his moment of enlightenment. The statue has an immense power and is said to give believers a positive mindset by simply looking on the statue. Well, it is considered the most sacred Buddha in Tibet to those who follow the Buddha's beliefs. Those followers pray to the statue and hold a great amount of faith upon it. Indeed, in this Tibetan language, the word Rinpo Nashe means the precious one. And this statue was made to functionally serve as a proxy or a representation of the Buddha on earth after his perinirvana or departure from the world. This portrays the change from Theravada Buddhism to Mahayana Buddhism, where the former did not allow for the visual depiction of the Buddha. The latter allowed it, leading to the development of the veneration of the Buddha. Sure, to them, it is seen as the true Buddha, and they must bring it offering, stress it, and feed it on special occasions. It is so sacred to the followers, not only because it was created by the celestial architect Vishwakarma, but it was also created during the Buddha's lifetime, and was even blessed by him. This is the typical origin story. Such claims of likeness and celestial origin are not unique to the Joa Shakya Muni. The Emerald Buddha in Thailand and the Seriyoji Buddha in Japan have almost identical origin stories. Religious significance and sacred power come from the legendary architect and likeness to the Buddha himself. Which is probably why it was made to look so accurate. It's said even to be the most accurate portrayal of the Buddha we have. Although it has undergone many restorations since the time it was made, it may not look like it did in the 7th century. And now, millions of images of the Buddha Shakyamuni exist today. The invention of the Buddha in anthropomorphic form dates as early as after the turn of the 1st century BCE. As the creation of the statue coincides with the rise of Buddhism in China, it shows the Chinese the de desire to appeal to the Buddhists as a reaction. Which, of course, coincides with the fact that people believe that this is the most accurate representation in China. Mm -hmm.